Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new budget robotic vacuum. This here is the all new Virafa V60 Pro, the robotic vacuum that gives you all the bells and whistles at a fraction of the price. The Virafa features an automatic dust collection system. It also includes a second generation smart navigation system called the Gyrosense and optical path sensor navigation. It features hardcore cleaning power with 2700 PA strong suction power and it's great for carpet cleaning as it has its own auto boost function knowing when it's on carpet. Now it has its own integrated app which is called the Virafa Life app and features low noise at 58 decibels in quiet mode. Now it has up to 120 minutes of battery life and it includes versatile controls as well as app control and has the capability to hook up with Google Alexa. Now it features a variety of different cleaning modes with navigation and a multi-layer filter system and a compact style design. Now in this episode here we'll be unboxing it, trying it out and seeing exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your own, check out the link down below in the description. Without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind and unbox this thing. Alright, so this here's our packaging, this here is our box, kind of showcases it in terms of what it can do. So you do have a nice looking blueprint of the product here. So it does come with its own station, which is cool, so it can actually auto empty on there. Uh, so when it detects that it's full, it will return back to the station and empty itself. Now over here it talks about in terms of the details, so you do get a gyro sense navigation. So it has an app integration allowing it to go ahead and sense its environment around it. Uh, features a 2700 PA strong suction power, so that is actually a pretty strong suction compared to some of the other vacuums we've seen. It has an auto boost so it'll know the moment it's on a carpet it'll go ahead and start sucking it a little harder. And then it has an auto emptying dirt system, optical pad sensor so it knows exactly where it's at and avoiding walls. Uh, compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant so that's always great. And then Wi-Fi enabled and of course remote control. So seems pretty cool. Uh, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Alright, so this here's everything that you got. So you got your base station right here. You got your robotic vacuum, which is actually a really cool looking vacuum. I do love the design of it. So you have essentially a futuristic kind of vibe. You got this nice looking cover, essentially graphic art going around it. Uh, you got your power button, cycle button, and the home button. Uh, you have a push sensor here on the front, I see that. Uh, and you have a few different sensors here as well. So you have your, uh, essentially your auto adjust brush system here. You have your suspension wheels, you have sensors, uh, and then you have essentially your emptying tank right over here and then it does appear that you can go ahead and just manually dump it as well so that's cool too and yeah I mean it looks pretty promising for what it is but let's take a look at the accessory box so over here we'll see a remote, so this is great, so you can control it via remote control. You have your auto function, home button, your speed button, and then a spiral mode. Uh, we have a user manual. Uh, over here we, it does come with a filter. Uh, then this here is gonna be our brush, so it's pretty simple setup here. I don't know if you guys ever installed one, but over here you'll see a little mount port right over here. It's like a square, and then you just go ahead and place it on there, and it should just clip right in, just like that. Now there's also an optical pad sensor, that's kind of neat too. I love how it's kind of labeled, so you know exactly what's what. Uh, it does come with some bags, so this is great. So it does come with some extra bags. So it comes with two extra bags uh, for emptying purposes, but you can always probably purchase some more if you need to. Over here we have our power cable. It does come with a second brush as well. That's nice too that they do also include a spare brush. So that's nice that they do include all these extra accessories. Definitely looks very promising. All right, so in terms of the uh, station itself, there's a little lid here, just go ahead and pop that open. Uh, and then you see here, that's our bag. So this will actually just kind of slide in here with the hole on this inside okay and then this will close up just like that pretty simple you can see on the bottom how it kind of suctions so once it attaches the dirt will kind of go through this little tube inside the bag and that's about it seems pretty self-explanatory after that so with that said, let's go ahead and uh, set this thing up next and try it out. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Uh, we have our Verify connected to the wall and then we have our app ready to go as well. Now connecting to it was quite simple. It wasn't that complicated, just a matter of a few steps and you're ready to go. Now to see you kind of showcase what exactly what this is all about, we're gonna click on Enter Robot and kind of show it right now in its current state. So it is charging. And then on the bottom here, you do have a few different buttons. You have your recharge button, your suction mode to go ahead and increase the 
the power on that. Your auto empty dirt stop, uh, spot cleaning as well as schedule cleaning. And then to go ahead and simply start, all you gotta do is hit play and it'll go ahead and begin cleaning. Now the animation here will kind of show that it's kind of doing its own thing. So this here is an auto cleaning function uh, to kind of give you an idea how this works out. It'll just essentially go around the room and kind of suction all the dirt and then it'll return back to the uh, station and auto empty the dirt. Now on the suction button here you have quiet mode and then you have super mode. This here is super mode you can see that it is a little bit louder. Now to kind of give you a perspective on how loud this is actually is, if I hit pause for a quick second here, you can see our live readout and we'll hit start. So we're at 38 as a baseline. So we're kind of hitting about 62, 62 decibels. And that is at super. Now if I quiet, We're averaging around 57, 56. So it kind of gives you an idea how loud this thing is. So that's cool to see that it has a, a capability of not being as loud as some, compared to some of the other robotic vacuums that we've seen. So if I go to remote control mode here, I can actually control it manually like a RC car. So right now I am moving it on my own. So I can go ahead and stop right there. I can rotate it just like that. And now if I go back here, um, I can go into spot cleaning. So what spot cleaning does is it'll do a circular motion to clean that specific area. So this is great for stains or in case if you're trying to focus on a specific uh, area that needs more attention than others. And you can see a little diagram of what's going on. So that's kind of cool too. Now if I hit pause and go into settings here, you have auto boost. So it'll automatically uh, increase its boost if it detects carpet. Uh, you have your recharge and resume. So it'll automatically go back to charge. Uh, you have your auto emptying settings. You have remote control mode. You have find my robot. Hi, here I am. You have share robot. Uh, you have cleaning records and everything in there, which is really nice. Now to showcase the auto empty dirt function, we'll click on that button here. It'll go ahead and return back to the charge station and it should automatically remove the dirt. All right, so that was auto emptying. So essentially it takes about 15 seconds to completely empty out the contents into the waste container. So you can just simply uh, let that fill up and then you'll take the bag out and just toss the bag. So that's kind of nice that it does give you that option. Now there's other settings as well, including scheduled settings. So you can technically add a schedule cleaning based on your own personal preference. And overall, it seems like a quite simple concept. Now, if I go back into settings here, I can uh, do other things as well. So you can see, you can upgrade it. You can see the user manual. Uh, you can do a do not disturb mode. So this will, uh, uh, essentially do its own thing without any voice prompts. Now, if I go back here, I can click on voice control. So you can essentially hook it up with Google Assistant or Alexa, which is nice. And based off of that, you can control the robot in terms of saying, you know, to go ahead and start cleaning. So that's cool that it does give you that option. And then of course you have robot management. So you can go ahead and share your different robots. And yeah, I mean, the app itself is actually quite simple and easy to use and very user friendly. Okay, now in terms of our remote control, uh, so we have all the functions that we had in the app but on a remote. So if I go ahead and hit auto, start it'll start doing its auto cleaning based off the remote. I can pause it as well. Start now remote this here is remote cleaning. Remote so I can control it based off of the remote. I can move it. I can change the suction. I can do spot cleaning as well. And then when I'm done, all I do is hit home. 
it will automatically return back to its base station off after that. And that kind of summarizes it in a nutshell. Now you do have your manual buttons here on the top where I can simply, you know, hit home, I can hit start, I can do spot cleaning. And then if I want to empty the container, I just go ahead and pop this open and do that just like that. So overall, really simple and easy to use concept. Now, if you're looking for a great budget uh, robotic vacuum, the Vera is definitely hands down an easy to use vacuum and it is very nice looking overall. The nice thing about this besides just the way it works is the fact that it is a very nice compact size. Usually these kind of robotic vacuums, especially with the auto emptying suction duct, it's actually really big and bulky, but this here is actually very nice and I can imagine it look really nice in any home. Now with that said, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.